Have you heard of Daniel Dennett's quining qualia argument? If not, we can move on. Well, I read it years ago, and maybe I'm not doing justice to it, but the way I understood it, you can check and see if this is accurate, is as an argument saying that the notion of qualia plays no clear and constructive role in our account of the world, including our experience, so we can dispense with it. Because uh, there's no theory of qualia, basically. Actually, as far as I recall, you can check and see, he didn't discuss the one careful, systematic theory that uses qualia, namely Nelson Goodman's major work, Structure of Appearance, which was an attempt to redo what Carnap had done earlier in his Logische Aufbau der Welt. Uh, Carnap had tried to construct a Logische Aufbau, a logical construction of the world uh, based on objects. And Goodman redid it, not talking about the world, but just about appearance uh, on the basis of qualia. And that's a systematic theory that uses the notion qualia with a lot of interesting results. So within, I don't know what Dennett would say about this. I don't think he discussed it. And it's the one case that I know of, of a serious theoretical construction based on qualia has, I think, quite interesting results. But it's the structure of appearance, remember. Actually, I knew Goodman pretty well. I was a student of his. He had in mind a second volume, which would be the structure of the world. Never got to that. It was very hard to even get to the structure of appearance. Have you read Daniel Dennett's Consciousness Explained book? And if so, do you feel like it was explained? Consciousness has been explained? It has a lot of clever observations. It's interesting to read. I think it leaves consciousness where it was. In fact, the question of explaining consciousness is a very curious one. I mean, these, it's a modern concern. Till pretty recently, consciousness was not a major issue in philosophy. Uh, when it entered at first during the great modern, early modern period, the notion consciousness was used for self-consciousness, awareness of one's own mind. The modern problem was called by David Chalmers, the hard problem. That's basically the last century. As far as I can see, the best approach to it, to the so-called problem, was actually given by Bertrand Russell a century ago. I pointed out I think correctly, that our, what we are most confident about is our own experience. Uh, the rest of our intellectual efforts are attempts to make some sense of it. Science, for example, is an effort to see if you can make some sense of consciousness, conscious experience. And he pointed out as well that uh, we would like to explain consciousness in material terms, but the problem is we have no idea what material is. For example, we don't know whether all matter has consciousness. Arthur Eddington, his friend and colleague scientist, pointed out that we don't know that uh, atoms don't have consciousness. We don't have a clear enough understanding of the basis of it. So as in recent work, uh, Gale and Strauss and fine young philosophers picked this up and pointed out, I think correctly, that it's not consciousness that has to be explained. That we understand very well. We can describe it in extensive detail. Uh, what we don't understand is matter. So when you talk about explaining consciousness, trying to account for it in material terms, the roadblock is we don't know what material terms are. In fact, that's true. You can pick up a journal of uh, quantum mechanics, 
recent journal, somebody just sent me one, which is symposium of leading quantum physicists trying to figure out what a particle is. Uh, they don't know. We know we have to postulate particles, but we know what they are. Uh, the same the matter is a very, I mean, there was a concept of matter in the early modern scientific revolution, so-called mechanical philosophy, but that was shattered by Newton, and though he didn't believe it, uh, and uh, regarded it as absurd, but science has since accepted it, and that leaves us without a clear notion of what matter is. Consciousness, we understand as much as you can understand anything. 